Hi everyone, we are the Factional Fight Brothers. My name is Brian, that's my brother Adam, and we are back. We are back in Worm, and we are excited to be recording again, and we're excited to tell you guys exactly what we've been doing, because we've been playing this game uh, over this last year or so, uh, but haven't had time to record. So we've done a whole lot in the game, uh, and the game itself has just uh, improved dramatically since we last recorded. Uh, we still love this game for so many reasons. Uh, the, the sandbox environment, uh, its creativity, the fact that you're able to express yourself whichever way you'd like. And we just want to be able to share this with you guys again. So thank you so much for joining us. And what have we been doing? Just gonna have to wait and find out. All right, we're back. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. And if you guys watched our last video, we were back at Factional Fight Village almost almost a year ago, uh, maybe last August, something like that. And we had just finished our, like I just finished my cool house that's there. Uh, we finished, we had started building our underground dwelling. Uh, that's right when underground dwellings were like added to the game around that time and we were very excited to, to start that process and then you know life got busy and that sort of thing but we kept on playing and uh, so I don't know Adam what have we been doing this whole time since then yeah like after we finished building the factional fight village and I mean we we're winding like we, I would even say that it's still being constructed but as that was winding down we got the idea that we would start a project um, that was like a little bit bigger than just ourselves and, and, and our own little projects. And that was uh, to build a starter town. Now on the forums, uh, Retrograde mm -hmm. had been running like contests to, uh, to submit your own design of a starter town. And if your, your design was chosen, then you get to, to, to basically construct that starter town. And, and what's nice about it is that those starter towns are kind of permanent. They are where new players would spawn into the game and it would be their first sort of uh, uh, environment in which they're going to be playing in. And I thought that that would be a great project for us. Um, so yeah, that's how that you started. Really loved, <laughs> you really love the idea. And I, and I did it as well. And so what happened was, you know, while we had free time, actually Adam here decided he's going to try to design this whole thing in, in Deep Planner. And uh, I all of a sudden didn't have any time to do any of the designing. So you took the reins and, and basically made this place. So we're standing right now in our starter town, which ended up being Linton. So we took over over from uh, who was designing Linton beforehand? Slickshot? Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. Slickshot. Shot. And I, I believe there was a few of them that were designing it, but they hadn't really gone that far. And we got the authorization and the okay to, to make Linton. Uh, from Actually, scratch. what happened was what happened was that uh, Slickshot he, he had the project under under like it was started up, but like very, like very little progress. And then um, he had basically said that he w doesn't have the time to do it anymore. Uh -huh. and when he said that, I sent him a message. Uh, we communicated, and and I also sent a message to uh, Retrograde about whether or not we might be able to. And the reason why I wanted to do Linton was because it's the closest starter town to to our our factional fight village, and also to our alliance. And our alliance is extremely newbie friendly. Like they take in new players almost almost every week. Like there's mm -hmm. a new player, um, and so you know it just made sense that Linton would be the the one that we would want to do and you completely took it under your reins and built this place mm -hmm. that we're standing in right now so what made you want to build a place like this well my original idea or just the concept of this place was uh to make a place that 
had sort of a real village type feel like I, I wanted there to be like little residence homes and uh, a farm and you know like shops and things that made it feel like a living breathing little village uh, and so I started with uh, making actually this area over here was the first sort of area that I was designing not not this particular building structure but this corner of the, 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 the town and more specifically I guess the church was what I was like started at do so you thought, feel okay, do you feel like you you succeeded in building the town that you wanted yeah yeah to, that... to a degree I mean like there's there's always like the ideal that's sitting in my head and then there's what ends up happening which is which really turned out great um, one one place that I really like is this church area and, and we got a bunch of uh, people from the Alliance to help out and to help the design so this whole church uh, interior was designed by uh, Karina who was part of our Alliance um, she did an amazing job it looks really nice yeah, there's like lots of little like little things about this place that uh, if you explore it there's like a lot of detail in this let's take a you look know, for example you come in the back and you have like a little office and then there's like a like some some places to sleep and, and uh, yeah there's just like all these little areas that kind of wanted to make it feel real you know like the that somebody's actually here. I think I think you pretty much succeeded there. Uh, <laughs> this, this room's nice. So, with Linton, what did you exactly end up doing? So, how, how did how did it come about? So, you you got the deed, and you came here, and. Did the first thing you do was design it before you touched anything? Yeah, yeah. The first thing I did was did a whole thing in D Planner, and it wasn't. It, I mean, looking back on that D Plan, it was similar to what we see here. Uh, the church, because that was the first thing we made, and the first thing I designed that sort of similar to what it looks like in D Planner. Um, but there was a lot of changes based on things like terrain, um, like for example, this bridge here. This bridge here was something that was put in specifically because the terrain sort of lent itself to that. And it made it like a little, had this little extra. And then this is like a, a bunch of other things like that that weren't originally in the plan. Like there's a lookout tower over there inside. You can see it from there, but that wasn't there in the plan because that hill posed a really big problem. It was either dig that whole hill down because I did have some plans for over there uh, that I got rid of later to dig the whole the bridge down that, that hill down but then I while I was over there and digging I sort of came up with new ideas so as I was going I changed the plans of the fly I guess let me see uh, what, what I really what I really like is that uh, we got retrograde here to to make these farm tiles permanent so they'll always seem like there's a farmer here farming for new players so they can check out see what farming looks like uh, in this barn you got him to create these animals that will stay there forever so players will be able to come here and you know see that it's not just an empty empty house empty farm like we used to I uh, didn't didn't even notice these chicks here the last time I moved was... <laughs> yeah you I made these the tiny chickens. little tiny little <laughs> chicks one here's one here <laughs> I didn't even notice them before yeah it's cute so it'll always feel a little bit like a living, breathing sort of village, even if no one is around. So, I mean, you spent all this time building this place. Like, why, why do it? Why spend time doing Linton? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not something that you end up with. Right. It's not like... Yeah, I it's don't not your own, own place, places, right? <laughs> how long? Um, how long did we did we spend making this place? That's a good question. Uh, we started construction probably in I want to say January, 
So all Plus, this actually, time. Plus, it was even end of December. End of December was probably when I started. Like, I arrived here and started. Um, and we just finished. Let's see. What month is it now? It's May now. So we just finished at the beginning of May. Yeah. And so that's a long time mm -hmm. to be on a deed that you don't own. Right. So what, what, what inspired you? What made you dedicate all of that time to building this place? Well, one thing I really wanted was, uh, I mean, the idea of building a starter village, uh, brings to mind, like, you know, when I, I, the first time that I ever logged into the game and saw the game for the first, you know, like the first thing I saw was green dog way back in the day. This is on deliverance server back in the day when, uh, people were able to yeah. put market stalls on the deed. And it was basically just one big market. And while the game itself was engaging for me, I could see why people would turn away from it because it was just not that appealing. I wanted like just the idea of having, like creating a place where somebody logs in for the first time and it's just like people are like wow and especially once they realize these are all player made uh, structures which you inevitably do mm -hmm. in this game uh, as well it's it's a it's the starter deed closest to our alliance like I remember when I first came to Linton and like after moving close by and it was really in shambles at the time it, it was essentially a massive hole in the ground, a huge <laughs> crater. Like it felt like a hole in the ground. Anyway, it was a huge crater. Um, you can almost see the remnants of the crater still. Like behind us is this, like over here is this big hill. Yeah. Right. That was like part of the crater, and that hill goes around like this big ridge that goes around the whole place. Um, and it essentially, was all... just. Like there was yeah, no grass I mean, here, right? There was no grass. It was all steep, uh, or step rather. And um, if, like, where we were standing right now, was probably over a hundred slope deeper than, oh, than where wow. we are. Yeah, like I, I dropped a ton of dirt, a ton of dirt, in order to get this to be somewhat level. Yeah, and even so, there's still like a slope up to the, like a higher level there, which is again remnants of the crater that was right. once here. So I, I mean, this place is is pretty huge. I recommend that if you would like to see it, start a new character, move them, like start them off in Linton, and just just run around for a bit because there's there's a lot of detail that we can't even show in this video today. Uh, but if you had to pick one or two buildings mm -hmm. that you thought turned out very well which ones would it be <laughs> well for sure the church so we already saw that yeah. that one turned out really so we well saw that one um so there's maybe two more that i want to highlight one is this one here it's a small little house it doesn't really it's not too impressive but mm -hmm. what i like about it is that it just seems so quaint um, this one here this is one of the two small little houses this this wooden right. one and then you've got this uh this stone one yeah this one i mean it's I nothing like grandiose Entrance. uh even the decorations here we were somewhat limited with the decorations because uh rightfully so that the devs did not want uh the starter deeds to be over decorated because they don't want the first experience for a new player to be lag yeah lag city that's what they should call yeah. it no uh and i mean that that's what used to happen when we made uh autumn twilight and some of those big bigger cities that we made always right. had to turn down the graphics in those places right yeah so i, I like this like it, it's a little I, I named it griffith's cottage <laughs> that's your <laughs> cottage for when you're uh, away from home yeah so one thing i wanted to highlight was was this place uh in particular i wanted to highlight uh the sign that says Stay off my crops. I love that it actually <laughs> says it now. <laughs> right. But it's great. It, gi it gives the village, uh, you know, a sense of personality. That's what I like about it. Totally. totally. Who knows? Maybe this it's like 
I don't know, old man Joe that lives in this place or something, and he's just like comes out with his rake, and he's like, "Stay off my crops, <laughs> darn you, kids!" Yeah, an alliance member, <laughs> uh, Legia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Legia. He came out and helped out with a whole bunch of the terraforming and. Um, I passed this house off to him to, to decorate, so he put in a whole bunch of the decorations in this house. Um, yeah, yeah not nice, small, good. quaint. It's exactly what it needs to be. Alright, so one more. Like, if you had to do one more, we'll each do one more. Okay, we'll each do one more? Yeah. Then, um, the other one that I really like, and how it turned out, is the inn. The inn, okay. So let's make our way there. And while we're going there, I'd like to make a brief highlight of this forest that I made. Oh, because yeah. Because we uh, needed to fill space. <laughs> but <laughs> because of that, we had this really, really nice idea that one side should just be like a nice little garden. And uh, so I just made, made a small road, put some benches, planted different kinds of trees and bushes, just a small little bit. Um, as well as this giant, this giant uh, chessboard, which ended up turning out really good. I'm currently on the unstable client, so you can kind of see this is what black looks like on the unstable. That's what white looks like. So white currently looks like nothing. Nothing. <laughs> uh, if you're on, if you're on the regular client, white actually is like very white, and black. Actually, is that's not true. If you're on the regular client, without with GL the GLSL shader shaders. Off. Yeah, then it's GL white. Yeah, but I'm I'm actually on the re on the stable client with, with GLSL, GLSL on, and, and it looks like nothing. It still uh, looks like stone. Like it basically looks like it hasn't been dyed at all. Maybe one day it'll look like white will look like white again. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. But That's you can cool. sort of you can see the idea. One thing I really like about this is that uh, Retrograde was able to come here and just change the names of the statues you can see we tried we tried our best like this is the the boy pawn here's the <laughs> demon bishop the invisible knight and the troll king and the nymph queen <laughs> and each side has one of those so i, I think it ended up turning out nice uh, my vision was that eventually some people would come and we could have like tournaments here <laughs> Right. People could stay up here and like sit in these benches and sit all around in benches that I laid out and two people or like a group of people could play, be pushing be pushing the, the pawns <laughs> around <laughs> and actually playing a game. So this area is like all uh all barred off. So you yeah, the you only way have in like, uh, is through a person here. driving a a cart or a wagon around and picks up the pieces when they die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so the inn. Let's go straight to the inn. Now, for the inn, I was envisioning something, again, really big. Like, this one. I was, I wanted it to be like a, like a resort, almost, rather oh, than wow. just an inn. Um, it, it, to be honest, though, in the end, I think in the game, it... it Feel, felt a lot bigger than I was thinking it was going to feel. Um, and I probably would have scaled it back by, you know, a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, I still it feel like it out turned good. out really yeah. good. I still feel like it turned out amazing. Um, just a little big Let's is all. Let's go inside. Okay, so we'll go in the back entrance. That's good. Now, this entrance here is the entrance to the kitchen. So this is the back this is where like back kitchen area if, if you come out the door just for a second you'll see i put a little trash heap next to here oh yeah so yeah like the guard you know like the back door of the kitchen person throws the garbage out this way and again pretty sparse i didn't want it to be overly populated with items but gives the idea that it's the kitchen with the oven and the st food storage bin Ooh, lots of chairs lots of places to sit yep i love it this is like the inn and the restaurant and a little like uh, cozy place by the fire <laughs> sit by the bar <laughs> yeah you know one thing for sure when I was going around decorating this place I was thinking man I if I like if I had the time 
and and we had no limit on what items we could put in here. Yeah. I could be spending another month <laughs> and another month like making it perfect. So, so like there's three definitely... Yeah, three, three rooms. Three rooms per... down here. And then you yeah. go up to the second floor <laughs> which has this nice nice out outdoor area. Oh, which hasn't even been finished. <laughs> With some chairs that are that are lying about, yeah. But then I also one, that. two, three more rooms in this floor. This one even has ooh, a nice, nice little balcony. Oh, they all do. Mm -hmm. Put a little balcony on the back of these ones. And then you have another level here. Let's see, one room here. Yeah, this is the tiny little room. <laughs> One, two, three more rooms. Let's go into the middle one, because this one I made a, a little loft. Oh, and this one, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it gives well, a this nice is a ton, ton of rooms. Definitely a ton of rooms, and a really nice, a really nice view, or at least a very interesting view. My hope is that um, like I know one of, the, uh, I think it's Enki is gonna go. He he has a knack for the permissions and stuff. And I, I kind of envision this place being usable by new players and old players alike, where people can come in and just occupy a bed if they want Sp to spend like their first few weeks of worm here. Yeah, sleep yeah. bonus and yeah. I really like this area with the with the fireplace and the nice lounge chase. Yeah. I can that see can us see. a whole bunch of us, five of us sitting around. Whoa, I'm like backwards. <laughs> you are backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I backwards? <laughs> because maybe I was facing that way. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's because I'm <laughs> That's just the way you roll. You just, you yep, just like to pretty sit much. on chairs backwards. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this place is awesome. Uh, I think the last place that I want to I want to showcase is you, it, you had the story is like you designed this whole place, but like you had one corner where you're just like I don't know what I want to do in this corner. Like, yeah. I've done everything that I want to do, so I came in and uh, uh, and at the time I finally had time to say okay. I've got time to design it, so I'll sit down and I'll just design a place uh, for this area. And that ended up being this area right here. Now before, this was going to be the one that I wanted to highlight, but then you said, we'll each pick one and I knew that you'd want to pick yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can't, I don't remember when this came here, but they, they put the huge epic portal out, out front. It's, it's pretty awesome, the fact that it's... So the, this is story about this is that the, the epic portal was here to begin with like right yeah. from the start of the server I guess and um, Kilroth who is uh, the leader of our alliance he was out here helping out as well he did a whole bunch of the terraforming around this area um, my original plan was that there was going to be the Lord's Manor here and it, it I, I had a rough sketch of what it was going to look like uh, but I didn't really I wasn't really happy with it I said to Kilroth, like, you know, if he wants to take on that spot, because at the time you were really busy. Yeah. And he was like, okay, okay. So he started like some of the terraforming, but he got busy as well. And so, uh, you know, when you start, when you said that you had some time, I'm like, okay, right over here, we we need a, lord, a lord's <laughs> manor right in this spot right here. So lo the manor of Lord Feyran was born, and yep. <laughs> and I and I decided, okay, I'm going to use up as much space as possible the whole place has a, a bridge on each side giving it that nice manor look mm -hmm. and i made i made the lord uh what's what's the word i gave him personality that's, <laughs> that's what i did for example yeah you can read that right there you have the privilege of allowing lord Feyran to honor you with his presence you're welcome. That's the first thing you see when you come in. <laughs> yep, you gave him uh, a pompous personality. 
and I wanted each each of the the little small rooms to have that sort of uh, clue vibe. Each one, you could be like, "Well, that's the I don't know, that's the kitchen, and and that's this room, and that's uh you know that's the library, the that's library." The... But of course, we we can't we couldn't put that many that much furniture down. So uh, some of them ended up being kind of sparse, but you know they each have their own personality. They each have their own different floor. Uh, I've got a, a couple on this side. One looks like it's for I don't know the study or something like that. Uh, it could could use more bookshelves and that sort of thing. But I think it turned out all right. Yep. And then of course the back really like the way that these floors turned out mm -hmm. when they switched it out oh with the new floors yeah yeah is okay, this and the then pottery of course, brick floor that is yeah yeah so and then of course where where, where is he gonna sleep he's gonna sleep where there's two fireplaces that's where he's gonna sleep <laughs> uh, <laughs> up on the top here and he's got some really nice views as well you got these little out out outdoor hallway where you can uh, spy on people, <laughs> look down upon people that are walking through the main <laughs> village, and you can sort of see, uh, you know, a whole bunch of buildings. There's the blacksmith and the tailor, and the archery range, and the stables in the distance there. The inn here, um, of course, is blocking. But if you look that way, you'll see the chessboard and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can just keep going around in circles, and you can see uh, there was a little village here that started up. And then I still even had more space. Now let's see if I can see it from here. And decided to make this little... He's got his own hedge maze. Mm -hmm. I wanted like a little garden. <laughs> With a nice uh, pavilion in the back. And of course, under that pavilion is one of those... One of those strange devices. What are they called? They're called strange devices. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it, it, I think it is, but oh, uh, it we turned turn. it into a lightning turret. So yeah. it's very cool. It is very cool the way that, that this place ended up turning out. So I was very happy. And that basically completed Linton at that point. <laughs> it was like the last piece. It was the last I came at the very end of the design of the the creation phase, but you know. Now another uh, building that I feel that should deserve mention <laughs> is this blacksmithing blacksmith uh, shop. Because uh, it, it is yeah. one giant building that you split into multiple okay. buildings. Yeah, I actually didn't design this one. Um, uh, Luna Do was also uh, part of our line. She's a She's the one who takes care of all the noobs mm -hmm. in, the, in the alliance. So she so will she, know how to design yeah. this place that's yeah. noob friendly. And I love the design of her. We've seen, shown it in a previous video. It has like this whole Western feel to it. And one thing that I admire about it is that it's constantly changing. It's constantly in flux. Like when the new walls came out, it was like, okay, time to redesign the, you know, the Western area. It looks, it looks awesome. Anyway, so I asked her to come and design a little shop that's multi like supposed to be multiple shops and she's like okay I, i'm gonna make it like a townhouse like kind of like all one building all that looks like many and i'm like okay cool so this is what it turned out to be so here's the blacksmith um yeah, yeah. again nice. my hope my hope is that it's going to be usable by people who are right. passing by like people who can just use the forges and there's some wood scraps and bsb there um then the, there's this this is the tailor shop, I think, or the leatherworking shop. I love the decorations he puts on all this stuff. And she also got Karina to help out with the decorations. Yeah, I like this place. Mm -hmm. This is like looks like a little shopkeeper area. Mm -hmm. and, she, and I like how the, the table got put together. See how the ta they put the table? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if, if it was Luna or if it was Karina who did the table, but... It makes it look like, um, what do you call it? One of those like L-shaped tables sort of thing. Yeah. It's not quite, but yeah, it looks really cool. And 
and then back here, this must be the tailor. Again, sparse was the um, was the instruction. So that was nice. So, I mean, we we built this whole place. Uh, we finished it off, and we kind of handed it back over to them. Uh, and then we decided to continue with our other projects. So before before we moved back into the Factional Fight Village and before that we were doing our labyrinth, right? We had videos on it, we had our conception uh, or conceptualization of it and like what, why we were doing it and all this, we have videos on that. And then we designed about half of it completely finished it and then just sort of stopped the other half like we didn't have time to finish it uh, you know you, you go through those periods where you just don't have that uh, creative spark to go into deed planner and like design this huge puzzle right. that's even more grandiose than the puzzle that you previously just built for the first half of it but still has to be fun but you know what I managed to open up Deep Planner after we finished this. I felt so good, and completely designed the second half. So, in our next few videos, we're going to be traveling there and looking at building up and finishing our giant, the biggest labyrinth we've ever built. All about that, uh, and, and if, if people don't know, we basically building it all based on the movie Labyrinth. So there's going to be uh, a labyrinth that people have to go through, a traditional labyrinth, plus a city, so like the Goblin City or Puzzle City, whatever we end up calling it, leading to the castle where they'll have to go through this huge castle uh, and solve puzzles the whole way through. And it, I, I think it'll just it looks so fun. So like adventurous, yeah, it, and it'll be planet. an event. Yeah, a huge fun adventure. I think, uh, and we're hoping people come and just try to. Uh, I'd love to just watch people uh, go through it. That that'd be awesome. So that's what our next few videos about. So how about this last thing? What did you do here? Yeah. So this was a, a last minute addition as well. It was a lookout tower that so I decided to make. It's a perfect spot. Um, I based the design similar to one that made a lookout tower on the factional fight village that was a lot smaller than this uh but yeah like i love how you can build stairs like this you know wow look at that you can look at the entire village from here look at that a lot of tree a lot got of trees the fields the barn you've got the church everything that we just talked about you've got there's the chessboard there's the lord the manor of Lord Feyran, the inn. Yeah, it just looks awesome from here. And I want to thank all those people who came by and dropped off their carts. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, it felt like dropping off carts was like the thing to do. People were like leaving. There's a mark. number of stuff, right? <laughs> there's carts, and then uh, there's people like bringing animals, and they're just like storing them yeah. on Linton while we were building it. And there was yeah. people. Uh, just bringing their their horses. There's even a horse right now with like saddle and and stuff on it, and it's been sitting there for like it's, a month. It's to a cart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yeah, it's like it's like carts. people took lots of people carts. took it upon themselves to come and like decorate this place by like doing <laughs> things like this. Like the the I put up the the fence around the barn area, and then next day I log in and there's like sheep and cows in there. <laughs> 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 it definitely looks lively, that's for sure. So, yeah. anyway. Oh, and one more thing. If you look this yeah. way over here, if you look over here, this way over here. Um, oh, yeah. Guys who built Glass Hollow, they came over and built a little market as well. So if you're in the area. And you right there. there. Um, and I, I think that they've been doing that to most all of the starter towns. But, yeah, it was nice to see that they came over here and did that here. Yeah, come over here and then you can set up a merchant or do some shopping right next yeah, to Linton. Still yeah, some I, open spots there. I see a lot of people coming here and uh, and doing shopping like while we were building Linton. It's definitely definitely a nice place. Uh, but hey, we're back. We're back doing videos. We are 
even though we've, we've always been around, but we now have the ability to do a lot more videos and we're hoping we've got the, the, the drive, we've got the projects and we've got the plans uh, for, like I know we've done lots of videos in the past and I just feel like we have a lot more to come. So thank you for all the, all, uh, for all the people that have watched all of our videos. Thanks for sticking around, <laughs> waiting for us to do uh, more videos and for everyone that is brand new and has just started watching videos, you know what, we've just started and we hope that you stick around for hopefully this next year where we just play one of the best games we've ever played. So thanks everyone for watching and we we'll hope to see you in the next episode. Take care everyone. Hey guys, thanks for watching our first video back. Uh, this time around we decided to start our own Patreon page and we just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, we're going to still give all of our episodes away for free uh, and you can find them all on YouTube. But if you enjoy watching our videos, get entertainment out of watching our videos, uh, and want to support us in making our videos, then you can become a Patreon member and uh, we're going to be creating additional content exclusively for our Patreons. Um, and you can choose to donate $1 a month or $5 a month or however much you feel uh, these videos are worth to you. And it'll help support us in making the videos and in keeping the, this series going. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, you can find it at uh, patreon.com slash factional fight. And you can just check it out and uh, check us out. Thank you so much for continuing to watch our videos. And we hope to see you guys next time in Worm Online. See you later, guys.